What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States. So to run off happened last time, we knocked out the Spanish out of Iceland. Um, but the biggest thing has been declaring war finally against our old allies, the French. However, they have sallied out a fleet to join us. And they actually do have a reasonably decent fleet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... <gasps> they have the Orient, even though it's a secondary unnamed ship. Um, but yes, we have a, a proper naval scrap on our hands for once. So let's crack on. This is their first response to me invading um, Corsica with troops. So ultimately, while losing this battle, but if we did lose it, it still wouldn't be the end of the world because next turn we're going to end their faction. <laughs> okay, let's put first up front to take the pummel in, followed by my right line of seconds, followed in by my admiral and some fourths. So I know my... Oh wow! The sloop! The sloop is coming in to save the day! So I know having my firsts up front will slow them down, but I still think it's the the right decision. I've got my fourths to spring into action at a later date. So thankfully they do have a quite a fairly weak fleet and a lot of their top ships are actually damaged. So it's secondary ship of the line, it's already lost some of its guns. Hopefully on the right side for us. But let's get ready to rock and roll. So my ships are all at full sail, or should be at full sail. Yep, yeah, they are. Here comes the Thunderer, heavy first rate, ship of the line. They're actually making quite a good pace, so I might want to do something like this. To ensure we merge in a more traditional fashion. Ultimately, if they end up crossing the T, then I will just cut their line in half. Although, actually, that's probably not... No, it's not going to happen anymore. So... Can operate a bit more conventionally. Well, actually, it looks like they're going to have a second-rate ship of the line zoom in and take that. If they're going to split their force in half, which if they do, more than happy to do so. They're just out of range. Now these are heavy frigates anyway. Heavy frigate, heavy privateer. 48 guns, 47 guns. But the first volleys are being fired. <laughs> Huge long line. I don't I don't I'm not worried about capturing the ships and you know cat like normally I'd be I'd be very tempted to go after all these seconds and firsts but I just I just don't feel the need to do so the New Orleans is going to fire off the first salvo she's at long range so a lot of misses Lovely shot there, keeping some of the crew. Those last few shots were very, very effective.
finally serious. He's managed to get a shot off at the Thunderer. Let's keep the broadside loaded, because I think Triumphant is going to get an absolute blast. He's trying to board or something. Hopefully, this does not cause it to blow up. Because it can do sometimes. Serious, you're not going to go down well in history, are you? You've, been, you've sailed on your own, doing the first war out of every ship that comes past. And only now do you think his battle is slightly turning against you. Reload your port broadside. Here, my dear. Let's see if we can get a couple of chain shots into it. Yeah, we can get some in there. Let's turn off fire as well, because you're on fire. Full broadside off, and there's a fire what guns I have. Oh, here's the rocket fire. Very effective starting ships on fire. Getting ships on fire, sorry. Okay, let's pivot, pivot you a bit more. You're massively aflame now. Ships formations, get them sailing alongside these ships rather than being stuck behind them. Getting my ships on fire is that rocket ship. First rate ship of the line, but there's not doing anything. Admiral's thankfully been killed, probably back here, the Unserious. We'll knock down on the masts. Pity. Oh, 
friendly fire from the French. Just fire, fire and hope. Because they've chopped the front of my formation up quite nicely, but that's why I recruit so many darn ships. these guys a bit slightly off axis, more like this, so they don't get too caught up in the wreckage of all the ships that have currently gone before them. Taking the top of the foremast down. Send you after anyone. 203. Send you after them. Although you are on fire. Ships are routing. Which way have you to that war down here? You should be firing to Kaira. Gaging. Blast a broad side off. I've lost a mast. Two of my ships have lost masts. start getting into a position to threaten that rocket ship. Send you guys this way. Virus will explode. You stay right where you are. She has exploded. Cable's on fire. Routing. I'm going to sell you. That little war gun in was 
going home. I don't know why I'm waiting for that. Far off the port side. Good, keep it firing, firing at will into Calera. We need to try and get around that ship somehow. Good, knock down Calera's sail. Dean is under fire. Good, full sail. Round shot, moving round shot. You go get her. You turn off fire well and start trying to actually get involved. Both are engaged. Knock her sails down, it might give you a chance. Good. Come over round shot. Round shot, round shot, round shot. I finally managed to haul in this rocket ship. I should cut down the threat from there. Stay away right where you are. Damn it, Tyrion. Secondary ship, the line that's got away with things pretty, easy, pretty easily so far. Shakings have been fired upon from multiple angles. If 
we can get this fourth rate to turn this ship into Kyra to not have any masts at all, that would be perfect. Good, let's do a little handbrake turn. Little handbrake turn to pop around the corner. Speed it forward a little bit. Anchor, pop a load of round shots off. And this fourth rate should be enough to keep pounding into this ship. Keep firing your guns. Now she's a floating hulk. chain it can be so you full sail chop him behind Skid. Good. Fire at will. Fire off your little broadside. For sale. Hmm. Turn this fourth rate and keep them shooting. Let's 
take all of you. Keep chasing her down. It's when it's entirely possible that my ship will end up losing this ship. It's just me turning down with all four. So actually, to be honest, I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Fleet gone. But ultimately, everyone's firing into this ship. Let's probably triple speed it and let's get everyone to keep picking at this ship. Because ultimately, there's not really a lot else going on. I need to do something like that. Chase them down at full mast. Come on, lads. You'll probably do something like this if you've got the range. to Frustrating when ships try to sail after things without actually going at full mast. Triple speed! Let's 
Yeah, you're routing, but let's just make sure. And it's everyone on this last wounded shark. Holy moly. Shaken, wavering, oh god alive, finally, yeesh. Close victory, damn right that was close for a minute there, I thought it was rude. Yeesh. But so many captured chips. You know what? What did Harry Potter say? We'll take the lot. Oh no wait, I didn't take any of them. <laughs> did I? Oh well, got all the money for it. God, that was that was uh, navy battles. They take it out of me. Um, no. Technically, that might have been the better option. But then again, it would have resulted in just a clump of Prussian troops in the middle of Europe, which I don't really want. I don't really want to give them a a chance to properly establish themselves. Oh, I forgot about the Maratha stack. The Ottomans are leaving. They're leaving themselves open. The more troops they move away, the weaker Istanbul is. Which I'll definitely take. God, the Russians aren't going to be any fun to conquer, are they? be some but anyway it's a problem for another day orthodox chaps are still on their list still on their way hmm how the hell would one beat Russia slowly would be my guess oh look at that the sneaky Oh, I should have taken Warsaw when I had the chance. But now they have it. Oh well, these things happen. It just means another army ready to move on the Prussians. Let's see what the Persians... <gasps> Persians are rebelling. And the independent state of Mexico is still being cheeky. There's a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Shouldn't have been a tactical retreat. Select the type of port to construct here. Pylos. Gentleman's died, don't care. Sir. Set sail. Waiting Sir. for your order. Hit Mexico. Siege them. <laughs> How stupid is that? And I've definitely sent the wrong army to do that, nevertheless. You hit Guatemala before they do anything clever. Good. So do I not leave anything back here? Oh, it's because I planned on knocking out, knocking them out, didn't I? That's what it was. Let's set that up. Sound the call to battle. This is going to be one hell of a battle, guys. But, looking at the timer, I've definitely overranked. That was a huge naval battle. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the final eradication of the French Empire.